What up, Body Bags BDG Reviews here. Uh, we are yet again in another theme week. Um, this week's theme is alternate cuts. So, I decided to go with something a little... I want to say different, but it's not really different, but... It's not your typical alternate cut of a movie. And that is, you know, Salem's Lot, the theatrical cut. So essentially, in what year was it? 1979, um... Toby Hooper made the miniseries Salem's Lot, and it's an absolute masterpiece. I love the miniseries. Everything about it, it's pitch perfect. I thoroughly enjoy it. Then some bright spark said, you know what, let's make this a theatrical movie. And instead of like reshooting it or something, they just took the miniseries, chopped it up, and made it into like a 111 minute movie. And that's what you got here. Now. The problem with this. This movie makes a lot of. Like. A lot of leaps. If you will. It leap, leapfrogs over complete scenes. That set up later scenes. But it shows the later scene. But not the setup to it. So the later scene doesn't make sense. It's not a good version of the story. I'm going to say this. If you are someone who prefers the Salem's Lot the movie to Salem's Lot the miniseries, stop this video right now. Go to your doctor and uh, tell them you want to be sterilized because you're too dumb to, you're too dumb to spread your genes. Um, there is no... The only redeeming thing about this movie is the fact that it's a part of something better. And honestly, I'll say this from for what it costs, you can buy you can find the Blu-ray for like under 10 bucks and it's a complete mini series. You can find the VHS, a double tape for like literally a dollar. You can find the DVD for like like you know, 5-6 bucks. Um there's no excuse to watch this version. I own this version because, you know, I'm a bit of a completist at heart, and I like the fact that, you know, it's another it's another copy of Salem's Lot. But I've watched this once. I won't be watching it again. If I want to watch Salem's Lot, I'm watching the miniseries. It's that simple. For rating... Salem's Lot, the miniseries, gets like a 10 out of 10. I love it. It's one of my favorite Stephen King adaptations. Uh, Salem's Lot, the movie. Honestly, this gets like 3 out of 10. And I'm being generous. It gets 3 out of 10 because of what was good in the, in the miniseries. Some of it is in here. But that's it. You know, um, honestly, unless you're a completist, avoid uh, the movie. It's not it's not worth it. And not to mention, they also uh, completely cut out the end of the movie. Just saying. The movie ends in Mexico. That's where it's supposed to end. That's where the miniseries ends. This doesn't. So, take that for what you will. But yeah, uh... That's it for me. See you next week.